Lynn Zito, and I am the owner and operator of Park Avenue Salon and Spa in Hershey, Pennsylvania. I am here today at Oakworks to talk to you about spa ethics. I have almost 30 years in the business, and I have extensive experience in salon, day spas, and resort spas. Uh, I am here speaking at Oakworks today because of their uh, reputable reputation, reliable equipment. Uh, I have experience with all equipment in my past. Uh, I personally own the equipment that I use for 15 years or more. Um, and I have worked in all entities with that as well, in salons, in day spas, and in resort spas. Uh, the purpose of these few minutes today is to share with you a lesson on specific work ethics, salon and spa manners, and presentation style. Uh, spa ethics can be uh, multifaceted and can go into specific detail. Uh, today I'm going to share helpful hints with uh, professionals in their field on core basics of spa ethics. Um, everyone wants to be the one who lands that perfect job after an exciting interview. How do they do that? Uh, they present specific information pertaining to their own education, skills, and personal style in a manner that impresses the interviewer. As a professional in your field, you will be interviewed by potential job offers. More specifically, every time you speak and interact with a client, a guest, a vendor, or a peer, this may be through the phone or person to person or in written correspondence. When we talk of spa ethics, we specifically speak of knowing yourself, uh, this includes your skills and your education and your licensure. Be true to yourself. Uh, be honest in what you do and what you want. Uh, deliver what you say. Always deliver what you say. Um, knowing these three things and doing these things, these three things, you will get what you deserve. In a few, um, if these few minutes, I'd like to help you remember a few tips as we think of, or as in a form of an acronym, SPA Ethics. S is smile. It is very difficult to not get along with someone if you and they are smiling. P, professional. Always be professional and always be polite. Being professional will put you at the top and being polite is the style in how to do so. Attitude, um, always have an attitude and always inquire information. Um, inquiring information from the one you're speaking with, you will gather everything you need to do. E, education, never stop learning. This industry moves at a fast pace. The consumer is armed with knowledge. T. Be true to yourself and trust yourself. H, hospitality and humble. This is the service industry and the guest comes first and the guest is always right. I, industry. Know the industry, not just your modality. Knowledge is always power. C, be confident and be courteous. Being confident in what you know and be courteous in how you present it. And finally, S, salon or spa standards. Not just, um, remember when you're performing a service, it's not just a massage, it's not just reflexology, a manicure, or a haircut. It's a spa massage, therapeutic massage, spa manicure, spa pedicure, or salon haircut. When you think big, you perform big. Hopefully, I was able to share with you some helpful hints today on spa ethics to help you acquire that perfect job.